week 71, here from beautiful Mexico. I hope everyone had a productive drama watching week this week. I've been spending more quality and quantity time with a husband, but have managed to squeak in thinking about writing about and watching K-dramas. First, thinking about I met a girl who would be a great young heroine and a guy that would be the hero. I learned how to paddleboard yesterday and this really naturally beautiful teenaged girl was out there with me, while my husband was getting his lesson with a ripped, washboard abs, young 20-something instructor. Her dad owns an agricultural company. I didn't ask the follow-up question of what does his company grow, because I am in Mexico and was afraid should actually tell me and then have to kill me. So rich girl by nefarious means meets poor, very good-looking surf instructor on vacation and falls in love. I had the plot lined out before I paddled myself ashore. Then writing about, it was my turn in the poem fanfic, and Namu and Mi Ray are on the same page, literally as well as figuratively. And watching K-dramas and the C-drama Fwaxia too. WWWSK, I still have episode 12 to watch but spoilers abound on the fam wall here, so of course, I've spoiled myself. Park Seo June, wow. That's all I have to say about that. Was able to catch Mr. Sunshine and I am just blown away by the cinematography and the music is good too. But what I am the most surprised about is how much I'm engaged with Kim Tae-ri and Kim Ming-young. These women are just going to rip my soul out of me. They can't have my heart because Yo Yoon OK already has that. And my husband is still obsessed with Fu Yao. And because he's had my undivided attention this week, I've watched the most recent 10 episodes from start to finish. Fu Yao and whatever character Ethan Ryan is playing now is still the best part of the story. We're two on New Kingdom, new antagonists, new identities for our OTP, really, how many princess, emperors, and princesses can there be? I never got all the names of the characters in that last kingdom, Deep Water Nation. And Ethan's character is still lying about who he is. This is probably the longest I've ever seen a male lead lie about himself to the main female lead. I mean, we're halfway through and I don't even know who he really is. And if anyone thinks it takes a long time for Korean drama leads to get some action, just watch a Chinese 66 episode drama. I'm dying over here. Thank heaven for WWWSK. Conversation about WWWSK, me, OMG, why would you tell a child he was kidnapped when he wasn't? Husband, because your career. Me, touche. Moral of the story, I'm loving vacation life and WWWSK is still my summer indulgence, even if the backstory is going off the rails. Second moral, one guess as to what the hubby is watching right now. Third moral, have a great weekend everyone.